In this video, we will start creating this social media share buttons using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So these buttons will share the current page. So for example, if I click on this Twitter icon, we will go to this page and uh, you can just log in and uh, the input field will be auto filled with this current URL and the title. And then you can go ahead and post the tweet. And in the same way, you can also click on this WhatsApp button. And here we can see we have the title, which is this title that we see over here. And then we have the link. So in this way, you can send the following message to WhatsApp. And in the same way, you can do this for Telegram and uh, Facebook as well. Now here at the bottom, we have an icon for share. So if I click on that, the current URL will be copied to the clipboard. And you can go ahead and paste the URL of the current page. That is the link of the post to anywhere you want. So this is what we're going to start designing in this video. So let's get started. All right, here I have created this folder called social share buttons and I have opened it with VS code. And I also have this folder called images where we have these images, which we're going to use in our design. So let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file. Let's create a new file called index.html. Let's create another file called style.css. And let's create one more file called main.js. And let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. So let's link the CSS file over here. And let's link the JavaScript file over here inside the body. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division. And let's give it a class of social share container. And in this, for each of these buttons, we'll create anchor tags. So let's create an anchor tag over here. And uh, we will add the link later. And let's also give it a class. So let's tap class. And let's set the class of the first button to Facebook button. And here we'll also type target equals underscore blank. So this will make sure that when we click on the link, it will go to a new tab. And uh, here inside this anchor tag, let's create an IMG tag. And here in the source, let's type images forward slash Facebook logo dot PNG. Right now, let's copy this and uh, paste it a couple more times. So we need one for Twitter and then one for WhatsApp, Telegram and share button. So for the second one, let's change the class name to Twitter. And here for the image, let's type Twitter logo dot PNG. And the next one is WhatsApp. So let's change the class name to WhatsApp button. And here for the image, let's type WhatsApp logo dot PNG. And then we have Telegram. So let's type Telegram. And here also let's type Telegram logo dot PNG. And then lastly, we have the share button. So here let's type share BTN. And here let's set the image to images forward slash share icon dot PNG. All right, so that's basically it with the index.html file. Now let's go ahead and style this. And let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you have this live server extension installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML file and click on open with live server. And this is how it looks. Now let's go ahead and style this. So let's go to the style.css file. Now the first thing we will do is we will remove the underlines that we see over here because these images are inside anchor tags. So let's tap social share container A. And let's tap text decoration to none. And now you can see that the underlines are removed. Right now let's go ahead and set the height of these uh, images. So let's tap social share container A IMG. And let's set the height to 32 pixels. And now when we hover over these images, we want the image to increase in size. So here I'll just add a transition so that we have smooth animation. So I'll just tap all 300 milliseconds ease. And here let's tap social share container, A colon hover. And when you hover over the anchor tag, we will set a scale for the image. So let's tap transform, scale. And let's set the value to 1.2. And now if you hover over this, we can see that the image changes the scale. Right now we want all these icons to be one below the other. So let's target the container division which is social share container 
and let's set the display to flex and flex direction to column and let's position it to the center of the screen so let's tap position fixed top of 50 percent and left let's set it to zero and right now it starts from the 50 percent mark so we need to type transform translate y negative 50 percent and now it is exactly in the center right now let's add some padding to the anchor tags so here let's type padding and let's set it to 16 pixels top and bottom and 12 pixels left and right right now let's go ahead and set the background color to white and let's add a box shadow and let's set the value to 0 4 pixel 40 pixels negative 8 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.3 and let's also add rounded corners so let's tap border radius and let's have rounded corners for the top right and bottom right so let's tap 0 8 pixels 8 pixels and 0 now let's also style the notification that we see over here so if i click on this share button we can see we have this notification displayed over here so let's create that let's go to the html file and let's create a division and let's call it toast and for now i'll just type message here and here we have the toast so let's go to style css file and uh, let's tap toast and let's set the font family to roboto sans serif and uh, let's set the background color to dark gray and let's set the color of the text to white and let's set the width to fit content and let's add rounded corners and let's set it to 8 pixels and uh, let's set a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right now let's bring it to the bottom so let's tap position fixed and bottom of 40 pixels and let's set the left position to 50 percent and now it starts from the 50 percent mark so we need to type transform translate x negative 50 percent now when we want to display this we will add a class of active to this toast so let's type toast dot active and uh, by default let's go ahead and uh, set the transform translate so that the toast is at the bottom of the screen so here let's change this to translate and for the x value let's set it to minus 50 percent and for the y value i'll just have 100 pixels so now this is below the screen and we'll also set the opacity to zero and uh, let's start transition so that we will have smooth animation and let's set it to all 300 milliseconds is now for the toast active let's set the opacity to 1 and uh, let's set the transform translate to negative 50 percent for the x axis and for the y axis let's set it to 0 and now if you go to the html file and for the toast if we add a class of active we can see that the toast is being displayed and if i remove the active class it is hidden so we will display and hide it using javascript when we click on this share button and we'll also add the functionality of posting this message with the current link and current title to these different social media platforms using javascript in the next video so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,